Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about different types of licenses within Salesforce. So I'm in Salesforce here, looking at a new user a creation screen in the setup area. Whenever you create a new user, you need to choose a license for that person. Over here on the right-hand side, you can see it says user license. If you click that, that dropdown, we've got a bunch of different options. Now we're just gonna cover the ones you're most likely to see, but you know, there's, there's gonna be additional ones. There's, there's ones historically that were used by Salesforce that aren't used anymore. So it's possible that you've got a lot of different options here. But the, the most common ones are gonna be, of course, the Salesforce license, the identity license, chatter free, chatter external, and a force.com license. If you have a community site or an experience cloud site, you might also see customer community or community plus or partner community licenses. What the license is doing in the system is giving that user the base level of feature access in the system. And there's additional license on top of that that grant access to additional features, add-ons and things that Salesforce might sell. But when you create this new user, this license, it's that base level. And depending on which license you choose, it might limit them as well. You might not be able to assign future feature licenses to them. So the Salesforce license is the standard one. When you're looking at different editions, like professional edition, essentials, enterprise edition, all of those are using a Salesforce license. And that will give that user access to all those features that come with those different editions. The other ones you'll see are chatter free and chatter external. So these are very limited licenses. You get a whole bunch of them for free if you're paying for a Salesforce license and they can be used to either provide somebody in, inside your company access just to that chatter feature set or somebody external outside your company access to that chatter feature set. So if you really like chatter groups and you wanna be able to invite a customer to join that chatter group, you can make a user for them with the Chatter external license, and it's not gonna cost you anything more. You know, these just come along with the uh, normal Salesforce licenses that you're paying for. The force.com licenses here, these are platform licenses. So if you are building a custom app on the Salesforce platform, then you would buy a force.com license. And that's gonna limit access to things like the opportunity object you won't be able to access that object if you have a force.com license. You won't be able to use Einstein Activity Capture and some of these other features that are really part of that sales cloud or service cloud feature set. And then the identity license, this is another free option. And this is mostly used for taking advantage of the single sign-on or the you know, identity features within Salesforce. So if, you, if I have an identity login to Salesforce, I really don't have access to any of the standard Salesforce features. Instead, it's just using the system to manage my login into other systems. So because Salesforce can integrate with all sorts of different systems, you might have you know, Salesforce be the list of record of all of your, your users across these different softwares. Even if that person doesn't need access to the CRM, they might still have an identity user license in Salesforce. And then those community ones, Community Cloud, the Customer Community, Customer Community Plus, Partner Community. These are licenses that you're going to be applying to your customers or partners to give them access to the Experience Cloud site that you've built. So they won't be able to log into the traditional you know, Salesforce environment, but they can log in in a very controlled way into some sort of a portal that you've built for those people. And those licenses have a cost as well. It's just much less expensive than a full Salesforce license. But it's this Salesforce one is what you're most typically gonna need. So if you're trying to sign up, uh, say a new employee at your company, and you come to user license and you don't see Salesforce there, most likely you've run out and you need to purchase more from your account executive. I'm gonna show you where you can actually see a list of the licenses that you have access to and see how many of them you've used. So if in the quick find, if you search for company information and you scroll down a bit, you'll see user licenses right here as that first related list. 
and it'll tell you how many licenses you have of each type and how many of them have been used. And the most important one, of course, is that standard Salesforce license. So in this developer org, uh, we've got two licenses and we've only used one so far. So I hope that helps. If it did, please hit the like. If you'd like to see more videos from us, more tutorials and how-tos like this, please hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.